from poking fun at the Irishman's tiny hands to almost throwing it down right there and then, here's how Michael Chandler opened up after Conor McGregor's attack in The Ultimate Fighter. Iron Mike can't get over the fact that the Notorious has baby hands, and he's not letting up on social media. You may have seen Conor shoving Chandler, but the scene was filmed months ago, and since then these two have continued with their feud on social media. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, but I feel Mike's been getting the better of this exchange, especially after he pointed out the size of Conor's hands. He claims that he barely felt the push, cause Mystic Mac's tiny hands almost had no effect on him. Chandler did admit that Connors bulked up over the months he spent on the sidelines. But this makes it even funnier now, cause his hands are disproportionate to the rest of his body. Before filming The Ultimate Fighter, Chandler spent no time with McGregor. And so he was surprised by the newborn baby hands that the former double champ has. Soon after Mike brought this up, memes started flying all over the internet and Chandler himself posts a photo of XXS size gloves that he jokingly said were issued to Connor from the UFC equipment team. The notorious one shoving Mike right in the face has generated a lot of buzz on social media, but the man was clearly frustrated with his team's performance. Chandler's been sweeping the floor on the ultimate fighter, and the former UFC champ has yet to put on a fighter who can secure a win. This kind of whitewash has never been seen on the show before, so it's only natural for McGregor to vent it out, and Chandler just happened to be right in front of him. In a clip, Connor could even be seen asking Dana White what would happen if he lost all eight matches, and the boss could do nothing but stare blankly at his poster boy, just to tell him that this hasn't happened before, and he has no idea what they're gonna do. The Irishman even posted shots of him having both his hands on Mike's face, and captioned it that Chandler's now officially an idiot sandwich. That's obviously a reference to Gordon Ramsay's infamous line from Master Chef. Connor's always been good with words and insults. That's what made him a household name in MMA. But it looks like he's met his match in Chandler when it comes to trash talking. It's a shame that their fight hasn't been announced yet, but the Notorious might have dropped a huge hint about his comeback. You guys probably know by now that McGregor missed the deadline to enter USADA's pool, which meant that he won't be able to fulfill the six-month requirement before he can be cleared to fight. But when a fan asked him about his return, he responded that he was going to be back in December 2023. Connor then deleted the tweet, but not before people took screenshots of it, because you know how it is with this guy and social media. A fan also asked him for a Mystic Mac prediction, and whether Chandler's going to survive the second round with him. To this, Connor replied that he was going to take the fight to the very last second and was going to torture Mike through the whole 15 minutes. I still can't tell you guys for sure if the Irishman's actually coming back this year or if he's just stringing the fans along like he has been for the past few months. But Dana said that there's a chance that Connor might be back for December. The boss didn't go into any details, but he said that he doesn't care what USADA thinks and that they're working on resolving the issue as soon as they can. There are a lot of variables in this whole situation, and Dana doesn't want to say much until something's been finalized. Needless to say, the whole thing's been a roller coaster ride for Chandler, and he's still waiting for Connor to do something about it. Mike's concern is understandable, because he's been sitting on the side waiting for McGregor, with no concrete news on his return. Then the Irishman also missed his USADA deadline, and Mike revealed that the anti doping agency showed up at his doorstep the very next day. He posted this on Twitter, asking Connor where he's at and when he'd return. At the same time, Iron Mike's hopeful that the former double champ's gonna come back, cause if he doesn't, it would leave a massive stain on his legacy. The exemption from the UFC is still on the table according to Chandler, and he reassured the fans that he's doing everything in his power to make the fight go through. Iron Mike obviously doesn't have as much influence on the match, but he feels that the fans are going to see him take on Connor by the end of 2023, and he predicted a second round knockout finish in his favor. McGregor already got his hands on Chandler, so now, Mike's vowed to make the notorious regret leaving his life of luxury behind. In the bonus footage from one of the episodes of The Ultimate Fighter, Chandler said that Connor's made his brand around money and material things, but that won't help him in the octagon. He's confident that he'll be on top of the UFC's poster boy, raining down bombs at him, and then Connor could look down at his Rolex and realize that he doesn't have any time left. Mike also wonders how the Irishman's training is going, 
because it'll be difficult for him to adapt with all the weight he's packed since his injury in 2021. This could mean that Connor might have a lot more power in his punches, or it could result in him being a lot slower. In any case, McGregor has a lot of catching up to do in the gym so that he can get used to his new size. Mike added that he can fight at 170, or even at 185 pounds if Connor wants. But he doesn't really feel like cutting all the way down to 155. Only time will tell what happens, but Chandler's pretty confident in his wrestling skills to bring McGregor down. And y'all know how much Connor struggles against elite wrestlers. Nothing solid's known about the fight as yet, but everyone's been dropping a lot of clues about it, and I wouldn't be any good at my job if I didn't pick up on them. There were reports of the UFC applying for a permit in Las Vegas for December 16th, 2023, and it looks like there's going to be a huge event just before the Christmas holidays. Rumors are that Dana's looking to book Connor and Chandler on the card, with other high-profile fights to mark the end of the UFC's 30th anniversary. The Irishman also kind of confirmed this by posting a Santa Claus emoji on his Twitter, but of course, he deleted the tweet soon afterward. Mike posted a Christmas tree emoji too, and fans were all over the place with this one. A lot of them believe that Dana might have finally gotten everyone on the same page, and they're gonna see Connor return. But some of the fans weren't as hopeful, since this has been going on for months, and no one's buying it anymore. Honestly, I don't blame them, because with Connor, you never know what's gonna happen. Some of the fans also took these cryptic announcements in another direction, claiming that Dana's trying to sweep the announcement of Francis Ngannou's boxing match with Tyson Fury under the rug. Well, the boss did actually drop the stacked UFC 291 card right after the Predator signed with the PFL, so I can't put it past him to pull something like this again. But the only thing that's certain is that Chandler wants to hurt McGregor, and he almost did that when the Notorious touched him on the set of The Ultimate Fighter. I know it happened months before it was shown on TV, but Mike can't get over it because he didn't really expect Connor to do something like that. He revealed the first thing on his mind was, how could McGregor touch him like that? And Chandler nearly lost it right there and then. Chandler was ready to defend himself, but then McGregor backed away from him. Things were far from over though, because both of them started moving toward the center of the octagon and Connor took off his coat as well. I know it's just a TV show, but these guys are trained fighters and they've been circling each other for months, so something could have happened. But then, Dana ran inside the octagon to separate them before it could escalate further. This could have obviously been a PR stunt, but with the Irishman's history, you never know. So, there you have it, fight fans. From almost throwing it down right there and then, to poking fun at the Irishman's tiny hands, that was how Michael Chandler opened up after Conor McGregor's attack in The Ultimate Fighter.